KPRC2 has been following this story every step of the way. Our team was at Lakewood Church as the shooting unfolded. Gage Golding is one of our reporters who was at the scene yesterday. Gage is joining us live this morning with more details. Good morning, Gage. Hey, good morning. Yeah, Gage, tell us, can you describe what you saw when you first arrived to Lakewood yesterday and about what time was that? So it was probably, actually, I was running a little bit late to work. I was on my way into work whenever uh, I was driving just before Lakewood on 59. And, you know, I started to hear that this was happening. And it was kind of one of those things where sometimes, you know, in news you hear reports of things and, hey, we'll just swing by and check it out. Because um, I was on my way, I was driving by. And whenever I got there, you know, I could hear, you know, through the, the radio in the car, um, the sirens in the background. And you kind of just know in that moment that, okay, this was uh, a little bit, a little bit more than just you know going to swing by and check something out. And you know, I, I think I got there before you know, maybe there's maybe like ten police cars there at that point. It certainly didn't look like what you're seeing on the screen. My car was actually stuck behind a lot of the barricades. I had to wait a while to get my car out. Um, but the, all this chaos that you kind of see in the video that we're showing you—that's whenever I got there. This was just all beginning. All of these people coming out. There was probably only a few dozen people outside at that point, and then it just all it was zero to 100 real quick. Wow. Uh, and just everybody started pouring out. Yeah. So you showed up before we had any official confirmation of what was going on. So I'm assuming that you get there and you do what reporters, what we have to do sometimes, and just start talking to people who are coming out of the building. What did the witnesses tell you? Was there anything that they said that stood out or, or anything that they said, you know, consistently that made you realize what was going on? Sure. And, and, you know, there are some people, it was kind of like a game of telephone where they hear something and then it yeah. just keeps going, going and going. Uh, some people weren't really sure. They just saw other people running and they're like, I'm going to run too and just mm -hmm. get out of here. Others, they heard those gunshots um, and, and they knew, hey, it, it's time to go. Uh, so some people, they they were evidently pretty close to, to what was happening and, and wound up just taking off and hopefully, you know, bringing those other people with them, right? I mean, yeah, and just to give people a little bit of, um, you know, behind the scenes, whenever the station calls you and says, hey, Gage, we're hearing this, go there, if that's what happened. I mean, you had an idea, You, we heard, right, that we think that there's some sort of shooting at Lakewood. As you're watching law enforcement show up, I mean, was there anything different about, I mean, what did you notice about how they, what they were doing or how they were handling the scene? Yeah, and you're right. It was kind of one of those things where I think I saw it come across in an email, and it was like, you know, I'll swing by and check it out. Um, it's different whenever you arrive, and the police officers arriving as well are running, um, some of them running back to their cars, the ones that were already there, to, to grab their long rifles and then go back to the church. And in that moment, you can kind of tell just by somebody's body expression that, mm -hmm. okay, this is, you know, this is the real deal. Um, that, that was probably the most unsettling thing is, you know, when you just show up and you know, people running out of the church, police officers running to the church. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it's, it was, there was a lot going on. That's for sure. You could kind of like sense the, the energy in, in the air that it was kind of oh, a, yeah. a scary situation. Oh, a hundred percent. Absolutely. In a lot of the video, we're seeing kids come out. I've seen kids, you know, like doing the hand holding rope thing and everything. Um, you know, I, I know what it's like to have little kids and, and they don't always cooperate. So you're, that's the one thing I'm most fearful of is, you know, how, how do you get your kids to urgently leave in a, you know, and not scatter like feral cats is what I'm trying to say. So were, were, were any of the parents talking to you? Were any of them particularly scared for their kids? Yeah, and I, I took this video right here. I'm pretty sure this was from one of the um, quick broadcasts that we did. These kids are being rolled out in like cribs that have wheels on uh, them. Yeah. Um, by, oh, I believe that's church staff or volunteers or, or something mm -hmm. of that nature. So yeah, there were parents on the phone horrified because they're, you know, away from their children yes. uh, in the middle of this service and their children are, you know, in great hands, right? Uh, to be taken care of and watched um, while, while their parents are worshiping. And luckily they, they were wheeled out like this. I mean, they were just coming out with whatever they, with whatever they could. Some were holding these kids, some were holding, you know, two kids, some were in these uh, cribs and strollers and wheelchairs. I mean, they, they had everything, but you know, what you can't really tell in this video is that there's police escorting these people out and they would kind of bring them out and, you know, a little uh, groups. globs of group groups of people of like a dozen or so. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, whenever they came out, I mean, that was, you think about that, those are, those are people's kids. Those mm -hmm. are people's sons and daughters. And 
Oh, um, I can only imagine. I'm, I'm sure the parents horrifying. run to the nursery trying to get their kids, you know, yeah. without yeah. taking their own safety into consideration. And then, you know, they, they feel separated. I, wow. I can't imagine how scary that must have been for them. Yeah, Gage, yeah. Um, we appreciate your insight and sort of being there at the center of it before, you know, there was a perimeter set up. Um, so I know this is a story we're going to continue to cover and, and you'll be at the center of it as like one of the first people on the scene. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning. Absolutely. Thank you.